YouTube, what's going on? This is Pat with Pat's Tech Talk. Now, again, we promised a follow-up to the audio video we posted the other day, which is more about physical devices you need. And this is more going to focus on the filters and the software that you need to utilize within OBS, within Streamlabs, within Stream Elements, whatever you're using in order to have your audio as crisp and just buttery smooth as possible. So without further ado, this is Pat's Tech Talk, volume 3-1.A. Audio edition, how to make that voice buttery smooth. Okay, so this is like my seventh time taking this video. So I hope you enjoy. But again, we're going to focus on the software and audio. Um, Filters that Streamlabs, OBS, Stream Elements, whatever you're using offers. And they all tend to offer the same thing. They all tend to offer the same layouts. OBS and Streamlabs are very similar. Basically, Streamlabs OBS is OBS with a nice, pretty face on it. Uh, it's just more user-friendly, user-intuitive. So that's, why, that's what I'm going to show you guys on. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't point you in the direction of two YouTubers that I personally used. I did a ton of research on this for my own personal use and for this video. So there was a lot of things I was getting, but these two, I mean, their videos, one was two and a half minutes long and the other one was six minutes long. They didn't bull crap you or anything. They just gave you the information and gave you great information. And then that was it. They're both younger. So they probably had a lot of issues with the audio because they had these, you know, lighter sounding voices. So that's kind of one of the reasons I kind of trusted them, honestly. But let me show you these guys real fast. All right. You've got Scar Four Plays and Viewsaki. Now he Viewsaki actually has my exact microphone. This is another version of the Five Fine mic that I do I did recommend you guys buy. Now that's fine and all. If you didn't buy my mic, these settings are still going to be a good spot to start. Now it might not be exactly the same, but. These settings are always a good spot to start. I, I checked on I checked on the Blue Snowball that I also recommended. I checked on a couple other microphones that were in that kind of um, cheaper price range, and all the settings were very similar. So I feel pretty confident giving you these settings as a good starting point, and then you can adjust according to your voice or your microphone. But those two YouTubers, man, I'm telling you, go give them a subscribe. They did a great job um, kind of describing this for us. Now, with all that being said, this is my take on it. I'm going to kind of add them together and I'm going to give you my beautiful voice and face. Somebody you can trust. I'm kidding. All right. So without further ado, I think I've said that three times in this video. I've said it 20 times overall because I've taken this video a bunch. I just talk a lot. I need to stop. Okay. So we're going to use the Streamlabs that I'm using right now. We're just going to use an older scene setup that I had. Go ahead and do it out or a, a chill Boop. there we go okay so this is Streamlabs. i'm assuming that you already have everything set up as far as overlays and scenes and sources i don't have time to show you that right now we're going to make another video about how to set up all this but this is again the audio edition so we're going to focus on the audio okay so before i actually show you the filters i wanted to add this part in because i forgot so on the front of your five fine mic if you're using the five fine, if you're using the other ones, they if they have a voice meter um, dial on it, turn the dial to about 25%. Having it cranked up all the way is not where you want to be. You want to have it at about 25%. Okay. If you were to get this microphone with the sick boom arm or without, and just plug it in, you you know, you get your source for your audio set up. It's gonna show you a Gonna have a different name right here because I've renamed mine to something a little more basic. But it's gonna have my, you know, parentheses, US, PNP, whatever, right here. This will be just stock. There will be no filters on it. You'll click on this cog wheel right here, and they'll have it'll have filters and there'll be nothing beside it. So if you were to plug in that mic, this is what it would sound like without just, just plugging it into your computer. I'm gonna go ahead and mute all of these. This is it. This is what it'll sound like if you just plug it in. Sounds pretty good. But that changes if you get a little crazy. So say I'm gaming. Sitting here gaming and you know. Oh my god, what is what? Why is he in that room? What? Oh 
that's what I sound like when I game. That's what it's going to sound like. It's going to sound like crap. You're going to overpower their eardrums of your teammates, of your streamers, whatever, anybody of your chat audience. You're going to overpower them. It's going to sound like crap, all right? This is what these filters do. They change that. They give you the compressor when you need it. They give you the noise suppressors. You don't hear this background noise. You hear me snapping? Look, if I cut all these on... That's what that's for. It suppresses everything. 18 wheeler drives by your house. Your dogs walk around on a hardwood floor. You're going to pick up all that noise. It's going to sound like crap when you're trying to game. I did it for months because I'm an idiot. I plugged this mic in and for months I didn't do anything with it. Then I added every filter in the book on it and didn't adjust them. I just I literally just clicked add, found one, clicked on it, done. Added it. Inverted polarity. I don't even know what the Get that out of here. I put everything on there and then I sounded decent, but also kind of sounded nasally and in a hallway and kind of suppressed and it added so much because a lot of these tend to run into each other. They tend to add on to each other when they're not supposed to because they kind of some some of them have similar things they do. So you don't want to put too many filters on. There. But I'm telling you, with these filters, you're going to sound great. Now, all my filters on. I come back here. I'm talking. I'm talking just like I was. I have not changed or sound of my voice whatsoever. Probably look over here. I don't even know if it's over here. Mine is over my shoulder. Oh, I'm fine. It cuts all that crap out. What it's for? It might be picking my voice up back there, but I guarantee you it'll be quieter. And you're not going to hear what I'm talking to my girlfriend about. I don't have a girlfriend, but you know what I mean. My dog about. Or me going to the bathroom. You can hear me peeing in the bath in the toilet. That's what it's for. That's what these things are for. Cut down all this extra nonsense. Now, I tend to have mine turned down a little bit on most of these because I do kind of get a little bit away from the mic when I'm gaming. And I wanted it to still pick up my voice really well. So, you might have actually heard me back there decent. But I guarantee you it wasn't like you're hearing me right now. Like, again, I did not change the tone of my voice whatsoever. So, again, we'll mute all this. This is what it sounds like back here. All right? Probably sounds completely different. I don't know. I don't know what it sounds like right now. But probably doesn't sound great. And you're probably hearing my damn... My chair roll around. You hear everything. It sucks. Turn that crap off. Use these. Okay. So, from here on out... We're going to mute everything, and you're just going to hear me as you would if I just plugged the mic in. And then as we add them, you'll hear the audio increase, all right? So first, we're going to click Add. We'll go to Noise Suppression, and we'll click that, and we'll click Done, all right? That'll pop this one up. That's the noise suppression, okay? That's the background noise suppressor. My dog is walking around right behind me, clacking around. You don't hear it. Now, I have it on the higher quality one because I have a pretty decent CPU. If you have a lower CPU that's a little bit under strain when you're streaming and gaming, you can use this Speaks one. Okay, it's pretty similar. It's not as good, but it's very effective. This one is just really, really good. Okay. Some people use the RTX um, noise suppressor, but me, this thing works perfectly fine. I don't want to run something else in the background. After that, you want to add noise gates. You would go to the plus sign, you would click on noise gate and click done, and then it would add it there. So we'll add the noise gate. Now, this is where terminology kind of kicks in so i'm not going to bog you down with terminology i'm just kind of give you the settings and then in my blog article you can kind of know what it means okay the closing open threshold this is where your decibel level is going to be for it to not kick in the noise gate all right and your noise gate is again i'm not going to bog you down in the weeds but it's just something you need okay it's gating your noise okay um it's attacking at a certain millisecond response time when you hit that decibel level and when you fall out of that decibel level. So you go above it or below it, it's going to attack it. It's going to gate it. Um, and then when you're back in there, it doesn't touch it. So me, personally, the settings that most people run are a little bit higher than mine because I am a little bit away from the mic. Okay? So if I was to make this, you know, negative 30 and negative 20, 
because you want to stay about five decibels in front of your close with your open, just as a general rule of thumb. If I was to do that, I was to look over here, my voice is gonna be chopping in and out. My decibel levels aren't being reached, gating it, gating my, okay? Because I tend to play back here, if I was, if sometimes I start like, it did not pick up anything I just said. This is about how far away I play from the mic and I mumble sometimes. So I changed mine to negative 35 and 30 just so it would pick me up a little. Because I was falling below that threshold, so it was kicking in. It was, it was just cutting out my voice completely. It's working on that. Uh, the, the gate is another, uh, another word for the suppressor. If that makes sense. Now, attack time, hold time, release time, these can stay how it is when you add the filter. I didn't mess with these. Um, because you don't want it attacking at one millisecond because then you it's going to start attacking your stuff a lot and it's just you're going to sound choppy. I didn't mess with these on the noise gate. Next, you're going to again add down uh, compressor and then you'll have it here. Now, this is compressing the voice. Now, it's not suppressing it, it's compressing. This is when you get really loud. Now, I know I mentioned that in the noise gate, but this is when you get loud and this is what it's specifically for. Now, this is the ratio. This is how much it multiply slash divides that sound um most people kind of run it in the tens some people do some people run it in the sixes i run it in the threes because my voice is just different now this is just the way i talk sometimes you might want to you might want to change that ratio up but start with three start with five see where you're at now this one i backed it off a couple just because the threshold i get really animated i get really loud that's just a known fact Sorry, I don't want my ring light to cut off. It was about to. So when I reach that decibel level of, of negative 19 is when the compressor kicks in. Now you can make it 20, you can make it 15 if you, again, but I think it starts off at negative 20, so it didn't really make that big of a difference. And the attack time is when it kicks in, when it meets that threshold. I put it at one millisecond response time because if I, if I hit that threshold, I'm, I'm, I'm there. It's not like I'm going to barely hit it and then come back down and I don't want that compressor to kick in. I think it starts off at 50, but I just made it one because I know myself, if I get loud, I'm staying loud for a second, so there's no point in there being a pause of when it'll kick in. Releases at 50 milliseconds. I just left it at normal. And then your output gain, that's the same thing. Basically, it's that multiply slash um, division of your voice when you're meeting the criteria. And I'm probably butchering a lot of these explanations, but again, check the article for a more detailed exp uh, explanation. Now you have the sidechain slash ducking source. Now, this is if you want your audio of your gameplay to be lowered when you speak. So if you play a lot of FPS shooters where you have your audio for the game really loud and you want it to suppress itself for your audience so they can hear you speak, this is what you would run that. I tend to run my audio low anyway because I think it's annoying when I'm watching a streamer and his game audio is really loud. So I always leave mine low anyway, so I don't run this. But... If you want to, that's fine. That's what this is. So you can pick whatever you want it to suppress. Mine would be, you know, desktop audio, and then it'll suppress it. And these two, the VSTs, now these are the outside third-party software. And again, these two are very simple. They're not hard on your computer at all. They run in the background. It's nothing to worry about. These are the ones that I got from our boy, not him, the other one. Him, Scar. Got these from him. I got this idea from him. He liked them because he had a, you know that teenage voice. He wanted a little bit more oomph in his bass and his treble, so he ran these. I ran them just to see, even though I have an adult voice, and I liked it, so I kept it. So again, you will want first. You'll stop and you'll go to the website. We'll just use his link because it's right here. I don't want to like typing it in. He had his in his description. I will as well. It's Reaper.fm slash Real Plugs. Okay. Link in the description, just click on the link. Don't worry about typing it out. And you'll go to the second download right here, the 64-bit. Download Rio plugs, and it'll be the 64-bit download. You'll click it, go through the installation that it prompts you to, and then nothing's going to happen. So just, it'll be on your computer. Don't worry about it. Once that happens, you go down here, and you click the, the plus symbol again. So you go to VST2X plugin, all right? Name it one or, you know... 
A or whatever, just so you can delineate the two. And then you'll say I name on one and two. So you'll go to the plugin. This is what it'll look like, but it's going to have please select a plugin right here. Now, you got to do two different ones. Make sure you pick the right ones. So the first one, I'm going to do the reacts comp dash standalone dot DLL. So R-E-A-X comp dash standalone dot DLL. They all kind of look similar, so just be wary. All right. Mine's already open. So because I, I tend to run mine in the background is like as they're pulled up, just so I know that they are there. OK, so anytime I, I start my stream, these two little windows pull up and it just gives me that warm and fuzzy that it's there and it's working. OK, so for the reacts comp, you will click on the one right here. You'll click on it and then it'll say 0.0, .0 gain. You want to make that a two, 2.0, whatever. You're going to go to the four and do the exact same thing. It'll be a 0.0, .0 make that a two, 2.0. Don't worry about hitting save or anything. It, it automatically just does it. And I, I minimize mine because I like, like, again, I like to have them pulled up just to know that they're doing their, doing their thing. So I click the little open interface when active, and then you're good to go. But for the second one, again, you hit the plus, go down to the uh, VST, and it'll have the same thing. It'll have please select one. Now this one, you're going to, we want to go to reaffir underscore standalone dot DLL. So R-E-A-F-I-R underscore standalone dot dll and then again this will say open plugin interface you'll click on that and i have mine already down here because again i like to run them this is what it'll look like if it doesn't look like this click on the mode make sure it's on eq make sure your edit modes are on point smooth and your fft size is 4096 so when you open it all of these lines will be flat they'll be completely flat across all right so this is not getting any pluses or minuses on any of this stuff. This is your base in your treble for the, for the ones we're changing. So this one, you want to bump it up to that first white line above where it was. So that plus 12 line. And then on the fourth line, you're bumping it up to the plus 12. Oops. Okay. So that's just a spot where he suggested I put them there and I liked it. So I left them there. Again, it's just helping out that base and that treble of your voice and it just gives it a, a clean sound. I just like it. I don't know what it is. I just like it. But again, I always minimize mine. You can't exit because it's supposed to run in the background. Plus, I have the open interfaces when active clicked on. That's why I, can't, I don't have the X button. But I, like again, I click that because I like to have it open when I'm playing. I know it's working, but you can unclick that if you want and just kind of hope it's working. All right, so those are done. You're done. You're done with your filters. You're done with your software. It's not nearly as complicated as it was, I guess, I, me technically, I made it out to be. Um, Wait, let's go back. So you can actually make sure you can close out, whatever, reopen, restart your computer, whatever. You can go back to this cog wheel and you can click filters. You'll see it's got five on it now instead of nothing. And you'll see them on there. Now, again, you can mute them and test out which ones you like. Maybe, you know, go in here and go each one and maybe make little adjustments. Um, these are just something that I would start off with me personally. I like where I'm at right now. I've had audio issues for over a year. We've been over this and I hated the way I sounded. I sounded nasally. I sounded far away. I sounded like I was echoing and all these other things. You could hear everything in the background. These are going to massively help that you, you, you heard what I sounded like when they were all muted. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. Your filters are on now. You're good to go. Tried keeping this video shorter because the last one was 40 plus minutes and I do apologize about that, but there was a lot to cover and there's gonna be a lot more videos coming up. We're gonna try to keep them short, sweet and to the point. That's why we're kind of breaking them into pieces, but I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you took my advice. Again, all links that I talked about will be in the description. Um, more links for microphones and, and all the other things that I had in the past one will be in the description as well. Give those two guys I showed a like because they helped me out. There was other people, but those two were just so simple and to the point that I just really liked them. They gave you a good base to start from. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, and stay tuned for the next one. We'll go over some more OBS setups, um, some more slob setups. We'll go over video cameras and overlays and lighting and everything else. And we'll get you to where you have an effective and beautiful and successful stream. Y'all have a good night.
Okay, so part two of things I forgot. Um, I apologize again, but this is something you want to adjust and you'll notice once I adjust it, the volume will go down. My videos from now on will do this. I just forgot about it. So I'm gonna show you what you should have done before adding the filters. Just trust me on this and do this to your slobs. So on the mixer in the slobs, you want to break this to where it's about here. So when you're talking normally, you want it to be where your voice is kind of hovering right around that top of the green, bottom of the yellow. Okay. That's kind of where you want to be at. All right. Now for my stream, for the video that I just produced for you guys, I'm putting this in afterwards. I had it at maxed out hundred. That is my mistake. That's probably why I sounded a little bit louder. You want to keep this at right around where your voice is constantly hitting the very top to very low of that yellow. So just adjust it, make those finite tunes and talk normal. And that's where you want to see it hitting constantly. Okay. Apologize again that I didn't add that in, but you won't see it. And you, the voice, my voice might sound a little louder than normal. It's because I did not adjust that. That is my fault. I do apologize. 